Hey guys, it's, it's Tick and Tack. Welcome back to Jank Play. Yeah, we're uh, running from a dude with a stick. I think all the textures got fixed. What the fuck? Oh, you saved the game and now it's all better again. God damn it. I was happy I could see. I know, yeah, because all the textures were really bright. <laughs> oh, we almost got you. Um. What'd you think of that one scene in the seventh Harry Potter book? Where Dudley tells Harry that he doesn't think he's a waste of space. Uh, it's one really fucking specific scene in like yeah. the very beginning of the book. <laughs> Isn't that early on? Maybe? Yeah, because he was sending the Dursleys away so that he yeah. could. Yeah, because he was about shit. to go search for the Horcruxes and shit. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Didn't think much of it. I mean, what the. F Fuck is this? You're not allowed to see any. There's a guy somewhere in a hole. Oh, those are. That's not a hole. That's just spike pit of death. That's like a spike slide. I literally couldn't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> You're running on nothing. Oh, dude, that's so dark. Uh, because what? the textures didn't fucking load at all this time. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. <laughs> Trying to play the game by memory. Have I ever told you uh, I hate this game? Yeah, no. Wait. What, what, what did that say? Detail levels? Sure. Are we here? Resolution. Oh. True alpha, not applicable. Cool! Oh. Gamma. We can turn the gamma way up. I didn't realize you could change your resolution from 720p to anything else. It doesn't work when there's no textures to light up. But I can <laughs> see! <gasps> Look, you can see the door! I can see! And the door my, my highest problem ever! I can, I can see now. Oh, wow, that's actually I can really see. bright. Damn. Master has given Dobby the eyeballs! <laughs> the oobellies! <laughs> the oobelix. Yeah, actually, this is way better. Holy hell! Uh, you I didn't to? know God existed until just now. They <laughs> <laughs> just increased gamma. I fucking can't see a goddamn thing! <laughs> now it's all lit around here. Now I can actually see! That's actually really funny. It took us this long to get the gam to raise the gamma. Oh, what the fuck? Did you just phase through the brick? Yeah, because I was moving it, which basically turns it into a non-existent object or some shit like that. So apparently, oh wow, this is way better. I know. You could, we really couldn't see. It. We didn't even know. You couldn't tell anything. I know. Besides the whole last part where there just weren't textures, but like before that, when you ran in here, yeah, couldn't see anything. Also, I like how the barbed wire is just fucking glitched textures or broken, like, voids in space. I think that's literally just what it's supposed to look like, though. It's just so bad. Yeah. But yeah, that one scene in Harry Pooper. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It didn't, like, uh, it didn't hit me emotionally or anything. Yeah. What about you? It's a good scene. That's all I have to say. About Is it. it though? Yeah, I feel like I feel like they it wasn't it wasn't played out very long or anything. In the no, book. Yeah. it's not played out very long at all. But it, it's like a really specific scene to show kind of how scummy Vernon is. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Because obviously he manipulated. He didn't manipulate. He he basically trained Dudley to hate Harry. Yeah. Just for being alive. alive. Yeah. And obviously What? There's some barbed wire down there. Fuck you. <laughs> but it's alright, I can see now. Oof. For the most part. <laughs> I hate this game. No textures allowed. Fuck this game, dude. But uh so so it shows that Dudley like evolved as a person. But I feel like that only helped because he ran into the Dementors. Oh, yeah. So without that, he would never have, like, experienced what Harry's been dealing with. And then also, 
Harry saving his life. and Despite him being so fucking terrible to him his entire life. Exactly. So, like, you know, I feel like... It's not it's not really a him thing as much as it is just circumstance thing. Oh yeah. But it, it's a nice scene as all. Well. Yeah. Dudley goes from being this fucking bratty ass piece of shit child, right? Mm-hmm. To like a real human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically is what it is. You getting close. You can kinda of see the barbed wire there. I like the scene too when they get back to the house after they're attacked by the Dementors, and Harry's just like, "Give him chocolate," and I'm like that's all he like yeah. offers up for information, basically. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, what do we do? <laughs> Give him chocolate. Give him chocolate." Like that's stupid. It's like one of the most useful things he ever learned. <laughs> Freaking. Uh... Umbridge being able to produce three full Patronuses uh, while in a room literally filled with Dementors. Yeah. That's a whole thing. Yeah, that was pretty... That was a whole, that was a whole thing. It's, it's like, damn. I like I like how... Uh... So, so the whole thing with Snape, right? So he is uh, not, the, not the nice of boy who... The Harry Potter, or anybody really. <laughs> yeah, mostly Harry Potter. Though. He just like, he's just re- extra mean to him. Oof. Um. Anyways, so not oh. nice to Harry Potter. Let me up there. But he's not nice to him. Fuck. Because uh, he was in love with Lily, and Lily, because and Lily was like his best friend from like before. From like actual childhood or something. Sort of. It was a little bit before. Yeah. It wasn't much. It was literally like. The year they like a few months or something mm-hmm. before they went to Hogwarts, maybe I think I don't, I don't remember. It's not, it wasn't that long. Ooh. But um, I tried to jump over it. <laughs> made a mistake. <laughs> what the fuck? Make up your goddamn mind! Holy cow! Every other load is just gonna be broken textures. I hope it's that simple. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, because he was in love with her, and they're friends or whatever. But he was annoyed because she chose James, who was just a prick. But her reasoning for being friends with James was like, oh, he's got his nice points. And then also... Look, to be entirely fair, James was fucking loaded. It's true. Like, all that money that Harry had in his bank account came from his father's side. Yeah. James James is a rich-ass boy. Do you know why? Why? Because his great grandfather made the recipe for the potion, the shampoo potion, that literally everybody uses in the Wizarding World. Okay, so not a just, joke. I'm dead serious. So I'm assuming that means Harry Potter also gets gets commissions from that as well. Still, still, yeah. still gets royalties from it. That's crazy. So that's why they're so rich. That's pretty lucky. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. But but that's one of the reasons why Snape was hated James so much. Well, actually, the main reason was James is just a prick. Yeah, James is a fucking terrible human. Well, he was just mean to Snape from the moment he met him. Like, it's Snape didn't do a damn thing. And yeah. stole his best friend. Well, actually, actually, oh, oh, no, no, no. I know why James hated Snape so much. Snape, because James met Snape with Lily. Because Lily was, was Snape's friend before James. And James was super into Lily from, like, the moment that he met her. Yeah. And so immediately he targeted any competition and that was Snape and just fucking was a complete asshole to him from the very moment just because of that yeah that from part, the joke. it sounds like it worked it did he fucking was a dick to Snape and Lily just oh, fucking fell head over well, heels for him excuse me and like had his child and everything which is weird considering they were friends before he even came along yeah. Snape is also a huge prick though well yeah well that's the thing though is like Snape Snape's not like the best person but I definitely think, you know, obviously, being in Slytherin didn't help because he started dabbling in uh, the dark arts and stuff. Yeah. With his friends. And that's another reason why Lily didn't, Lily, like, started moving away from him. 
was because like he was mixing himself up with those kinds of people and then you know it was a whole thing but, but i like her uh her like reasonings because uh because they were snape was talking to her about like why would you dare like be with james or whatever like him or be friends with him and she's like well at least james doesn't dabble in the, in the dark arts but which a not unfair it, yeah but it's such a terrible comparison it's kind of like it's okay for him to be a bully and an asshole to everybody if he's not being dark i guess yeah he's not a dark wizard <laughs> You know he's 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 a he's a regular no, this wizard. No, black magic. Yeah, he's he's a regular <laughs> wizard, but he's a but you know he doesn't. It's just so so stupid. I'm like, yeah. Lily Lily was also not intelligent. She was. Uh, she was book smart. That's all she had going for. Yeah, she was dumb. Yeah. yeah, she was book smart, but she had no common sense or like rational thinking she was whatsoever. An airhead. She was an airhead with it came, when it came to rational things. It was. It just stupid. yeah, but we've known real people like that. It's true, but it was just I like, can name a couple. Yeah, I mean, like, like in reality, like I don't think she should have chosen either of them to be with. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like Snape's not great. Okay. James wasn't great. Just, just some other person would have been so much. Better. Purely for survival, I could see her getting with Voldemort. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Purely I could see that. for survival, though. But Voldemort had no interest in her. Yeah, but like. If she had seduced him. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. kind of energy, you know? Yeah, right. But yeah, it, it was just so silly. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, Snape was just mean to Harry all the time for that reason, and that was it. Yep. And heck, heck, Harry, or, uh, Snape was willing to sac- um, was willing to sacrifice Harry to save Lily. Yep. Yeah, he was ready to kill, or ready for both James and Harry to die. So that Lily could live. Harry Potter sounds like an incredibly terrible universe. It is pretty stupid. Well, the lore isn't good, and that's the main issue with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so like funny. there's some funny lore, <laughs> like uh, you know where they got the Hogwarts Express? Yeah, they stole it. They stole it from the Muggles. Yeah, <laughs> they fucking just robbed the Muggles. Of Literally, an that's train. it. That's the lore behind the Hogwarts Express. They didn't know how to build a train. No, they didn't want to learn how to build a train. Yeah, well, so same difference. They didn't know how to do it. And they just were like, you guys have a thing that looks really useful for us. Yeah, but they're, they're like, we need a train. Yeah, but they're and always... And just fucking stole a train. Yeah, but they're always, like, talking down about muggles and yep. how stupid they are. But yet, freaking wizards are, like, trash. Like, they're so dumb. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they're just pathetic humans. The versus only thing they have going for them is, like, long life and magic. magic. That's, that's it. Because outside of that, it's, like, like muggles just have such better, like, thought processes. They think better, and yeah. they have, they have the more, like, they have more ingenuity. Because they have to. Magic. Yeah, they have to. But, uh, but like, that's one of the things uh, that's expressed in the first movie or first book. Is that that most wizards lack common sense? Yep. Friggin', I was talking to yeah. Brayden earlier about it. Do you think that like so muggles, technologically speaking, like what level of technology do they have for the most part? Like nineties. Because I know they have like a train. Like they have a train. Yeah, the, like nineties level of tech. Yeah. So they have guns. Yeah. Yeah. So how guns. effective is it gonna get the wizard? Uh, I don't know. It probably depends. Like if you walked up and you just shot a wizard in the back. He wouldn't be able to do anything. Well, yeah, if he would just, you just shot him, he would die. So, if Muggles went to war against the Wizards, do you think Muggles would win? No. No? And the only reason I say that is because, like, Wizards have the ability to, like, erase your memories. Yeah. And stuff, so you would just forget you're even having a war with them. Yeah, but, like, is that, do they could just cast that as a mass effect? or? Like, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. It, you're, that's, like, in the middle of a war and just hundreds of people are just forgetting they're yeah, fighting. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That, okay, and that's that why, insane. and that's why... Muggles don't know wizards exist is because every time anything ever happens that could possibly relate to wizards, just everybody forgets about it immediately. So the only way that like muggles could effectively wipe out the wizards is if they had like a nuke or something, just kill them all at once. Well, not even probably because no. they can. Well, because like so obviously it'd be hard for them to even cast to like to fire the, the nuke before wiz the wizards stop them because wizards can uh, teleport. 
instantly yeah. in any to any place. Unless it's warded, but that's yeah, a whole it's, separate. Yeah, the thing. muggles aren't going to have any wards on anything. Exactly. So they're just they will just pop up anywhere that they need to be. Yeah, and where also muggles doing something. because of the way the rules work for the universe, they probably just have an anti nuke spell. Yeah, they probably like do. straight up like oh survive nuke and then they just survive a nuke. Yeah, like, like that's they, it. They also have the ability to like <laughs> transport uh, objects. Oh, they instantly as well. Yeah. yeah, they could just they could just make it disappear into yeah. another place yeah. instantly. So I'm saying they, they would muggles wouldn't win just because the magic in that universe is just bullshit. And yeah, it's they can do really poorly so. handled. Yeah, it, literally wizards can do anything. Yeah, that's insane. As I, long as they just take the time and effort to actually make those spells. Yeah, I think the only thing that's ex that's heavily time expressed travel. that they no they can do time travel as well. I no, the, not the after the fifth book. Well, yeah, they destroyed all the time turners, I guess. Yeah. But they could do it. Like, they, they were able to at one point, which means they could probably do it again at some point. Like, they'll figure yeah, it out. Maybe. But, like, well, it, it was a whole thing. They created the the, tur the time turners. They can do it again. But, um, one thing, though, is it's, like, the only thing really expressed in the books that, like, wizards can't do is live forever. Like, Immortality is no like, and that's that's the thing is is there's only been a couple of people who have done it yeah. humanely yeah yeah because throughout one, the course of the history yeah because see the only real one was the one with the philosopher stone Nicholas Flamel yeah don't ask me why I know his name I don't know but but the problem is <laughs> with that one is it requires like a constant consumption of a drink of the elixir of life of the elixir of life so it's not really pure immortality yeah. And so, and like, like so. we see him in uh, Magical Beasts and Where to Find Them. Yeah. And he's, like, you know those people with, like, actual paper for bones? Mm. That's he's him. basically that because he's, like, 500, 500 years old. Yeah. So he's alive, but the degradation of his body hasn't stopped. No. Yeah. And so, and so, so he has to constantly drink the thing, but then also, if someone destroys the Philosopher's Stone, he dies. And they did it. Yeah, yeah, and so they did. Yeah, so he died. He doesn't. Okay, they don't die so right they away. Wither yeah. away. Yeah, so well, it's more like they they need the philosopher's stone to make the elixir of life. Yeah. So they can make a stockpile and then someone destroy the stone. But and then, they'll then last. that stockpile will only last for so long. Yeah, exactly. They'll run out. And, and then Nicholas Flamel even straight up said though, he's like, I'm so fucking tired of life. Essentially. Yeah, he's ready. Because to, he's, ready to he's been alive for five. Hundred years. Yeah, like that takes a toll. Yeah, so he was ready to go when they did it, but they had a stockpile where they were just like, yeah, we have a stockpile, we'll just use it up, and then you know, doing like enjoying the the last years of our lives. Yeah, and then we'll just pass away. But anyways, there's that one, and then there's Voldemort's idea where he creates a bunch of Horcruxes, which are pieces of his soul shoved into an object or yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, which totally worked. Yeah, but the only problem is, is it. it degrades his humanity. Yeah. And Which was already really low. Yeah. And there's a whole theory about it because he's a roofy baby and a bunch of other <laughs> shit. So. Yeah. So, like, it it worked and his probably was the most, like, unanimous, like, form of immortality because, like, there was no other strings attached to where he was just gonna, he would've just lived forever. And he did a good fucking job of hiding the horcruxes. Yeah. Other than the fact that he put them in objects of, of like of related great, to him, yeah, but he also did it in such great, greatly important objects right. as well. Like, well, like the diadem. Yeah, he did it in the diadem. Really well hidden. But the problem is, yeah. uh, it's just such it, an it's object. like it's such an important thing to Rowena Ravenclaw specifically. Exactly. And, and then, <laughs> oh, and then he put it in the the ring. Right, his father's ring. Yeah, and then the <sighs> snake that he kept with him all the time. Nagini. Nagini. Yeah. Uh, and then he put it in a diary. I guess the diary was the was the least obvious one, but yeah. it was still like related to him. The, the least obvious one was definitely Harry, but Harry was also an accident. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> what other what other Horcruxes did he have? He had a there's there was the a chalice. diadem, the the goblet of Hufflepuff. Yep. The the book, the ring, Harry, Harry, oh, and the, the, the snake. Yep. And then. Seven of Yeah. There's another one. Fuck. It was related to Slytherin. That would have been the ring because it was his family's ring. Yeah. Because he's Slytherin's descendant. And then. 
it was something of Godric's that he wanted to put it into and like didn't get a chance to because he wanted the sword of Gryffindor but one obviously he couldn't make it appear for himself yeah and then it's just like incredibly impervious to stuff like that there were supposed to be seven and I feel like I knew all of them at one point the locket the oh locket. yes the, the that, locket that one was such an important one too because that was why Dumbledore died yeah was for the locket god how could we how could we forget such a thing fucking easily yeah so anyways it was really stupid because like really honestly he could have put he could have made anything realistically speaking the way to do it is you split your soul one time not seven and yeah. you put it in a penny and just fucking spend it like yeah. literally that's how you do that and then you're immortal no strings attached you have half of your soul not like yeah. one one hundredth or whatever he does have at the end yeah. And, like, nobody's ever gonna fucking find that Horcrux. Yeah, what's well, Ever. Like, it's like, you could just <laughs> give it to some random kid, and they'll just put it in their piggy bank for the next, like, however long. But it's like, it's such a... Or just bury it somewhere. I, you drop it into... Spending the, it is the best way to do it. Because it just disappears forever now. <laughs> no, like, it's not like it's gonna be like, oh, look, a penny I found in the dirt. Right? No, I got it. Because <laughs> you need to turn into a penny, or just a rock... <laughs> and then throw it into the Grand Canyon. Exactly. Just throw it into the ocean? Yeah. Like, no there are so many that. better... Like, if I were going to do that, I would have just, like, thrown it in the ocean or some shit. Like, it's just a rug. Okay, so now, actually, now I have a question. Now, when he dies, does he reappear at his Horcrux location? No. No? Uh, that's pretty clearly stated. He does, he just appears, he just revives. Yeah, it's like wherever he died at, and he, like, at first he was kind of like a ghost, which is why he had to possess Quirrell uh, in the first book. Yeah. But after that, he was like an embryo, basically, mm, that was yeah. like detached from Quirrell, yeah. that was just retrieved or something. Yeah, that's right. Like. Wait, so, so like, uh, when he dies, does it use up a Horcrux, or, like, is it just always going to be there? It's just whatever is remaining of his soul, because it's trapped in the world because of the horcruxes. Yeah. So, but so like so, so whatever lose... uh, like that little sliver of soul or whatever he has when he ki tries to kill Harry. Yeah. Is just what he is now, and the horcruxes just tether the soul to the world. Oh, uh, okay, I got you. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, so he would be. So if he only did one horcrux, he would have half of his soul. And it would just be tethered to the world because of the Horcrux. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. And so no matter how many times he died, he would revive as, as like, a spectral thing. But, you know, he would he would be able to bring himself physically back at some point. Yeah. Through minions or whatever. Yeah. And, like, if he, he was, like, do. a half-decent dude, somebody would have brought him back, like... Yeah, they for were, him. Yeah, because, they were like, all right, like, yeah, go for it. And then, like, his physical body is tied to, like, the like age of the object the rest of his soul is in or something like that mm. right so, so so I think I think that the like the real like the, he was obsessed with immortality but also killing all wizards or something or was it just taking, killing all muggles oh right he was killing all the muggles and all so, the muggleborns so basically just taking over the world yeah he wanted to, he's wizard Hitler yeah that's what he is. Yeah, and so, like, if he hadn't done that and he was just obsessed with immortality... He, he would have lived forever. He literally would have succeeded immediately. But also, there's this whole thing. He died when he was, like, 74 or something like that, yeah. right? Wizards routinely live to, like, 150. So if he had just, like, exercised and taken care of his body and, like, had a, like, a semi-healthy diet, he would have easily crushed 200. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Yeah. So and then he would have died, and then he would have just come back as a spectral being, and then, you know, figured out how to make a new right. body. Well, I'm saying Sans Horcrux, right? He would have easily passed 150. Yeah. Easily. If he had just, like, taken care of his body. Yeah. Like, but it, it the was... main thing that fucked him over was the seven Horcruxes yep. and wanting to take over the world. Yeah, well, it's like he wanted to guarantee his, like, immortality, but the, pro but the thing is, is that if he wasn't evil... Then nobody would be trying to kill him. Yeah. Like, nobody would be trying to destroy his But that horcruxes. was the point of the Horcruxes, is because he knew he wanted to take over the world. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. Like, the he scene had to make we a bunch see of them. in the sixth book, when he's asking uh, Slughorn about the Horcruxes, is 
like, at that point, like, a year or two before that, even, he had already been going by Lord Voldemort. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah. So, in school. <laughs> but only, like, Bellatrix and them knew. It was just <laughs> so ridiculous. It's so dumb. He's so bad at his job. Like, he, he could have done it. Yeah. It, it's not that hard. Yeah. Wizards are really dumb. I think that, yeah, I think that was just the, the thing. He just wasn't an intelligent person. And that was also his biggest downfall, too, because he, uh... So, obviously, he went to go kill Harry without knowing the full, like, the full thing. Yeah. Which, so he, by going and killing him, he created his own doom. Yep. Um, there was something else that was going on in, like, the seventh book. Right, right, because he didn't know that Harry was looking for those, uh, for the Horcruxes. For a good while. Yeah, until after the dragon incident at Gringotts. Yeah. And so, like... And that's because, you know, Gringotts was basically destroyed, a dragon escaped, and then he felt like two horcruxes just disappeared. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, there, there was a lot of strings attached to that one. Exactly. So, it was just, it was, he's not a very good, per he's not he's, very smart. He's so bad at his one job. Yeah. Like, there's so many better ways of doing things. Yeah, he would have. Yeah, so like basically though, if he wasn't out to kill everybody, he could have created one Horcrux, and not even had to hide it. He could have told everybody about it. Well, no, because Horcruxes are like a taboo thing. Yeah, that doesn't mean they would have gone out of their way to destroy it, right? I mean, maybe it sort of depends on the person, really. I guess, <laughs> but if he was like a really nice guy. Really, yeah, if really he was, guy. if he was actually the way he portrayed himself while at school. Yeah. Like, he was a good guy, and he created a Horcrux, and then he was like, you know, played it off more as like, I didn't know, but please don't destroy Well, no, it had to have been intentional. I know, I know, but, you know, because one of those things where it's just kind of Also, like, there's this whole thing, freaking the, uh, J.K. Rowling freaking described how to make a Horcrux to, like, one of her editors, and he threw up at the description. It's like, it doesn't have to be that bad. It, it really doesn't. You just split your soul and make it like a seven-day ritual or something. Like, it's that simple. Did you and kill splitting, somebody? Well, splitting your soul, and there's a lot of different ways to do it, but okay. the primary one is literally just, like, killing a person in a horrific way. Right. Yeah. So. Well, what's the other ways to make a horror person? Probably, like, killing a puppy. Like, oh. some weird shit like that. <laughs> but, like, to make a horror crux, like, it's this long, incredibly disgusting process when it's, like... The disgusting part could be the fact that you have to take a human life, or whatever. Right, yeah. Right? Like, it doesn't have to be, like, you have to shove it up your butt and shit it out, and then vomit all over it, and then <laughs> coom a little bit. And, and then like, drink it. And then drink it, and then you just, like, I don't know, make love to the Horcrux or something to make it. It doesn't have to be something incredibly grotesque, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, the bad part about it literally could just be the fact that you have to take a life or whatever to yeah. split your soul to make it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And this is, like, an open secret to the wizarding world because, like, if it were, like, an open secret like that, then it wouldn't be like, oh, we're looking for a horcrux or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah, it was silly. It's so dumb. I hate the lore of Harry Potter. Yeah. The universe is okay, but the lore is so annoying and bad. And <laughs> so poorly written. Like, it's a real problem. <laughs> and, like, she boxed herself into, like, a proverbial corner with the way she decided to handle, like, before the 1800s in the wizarding world. So is that where, what, what do you mean? So, you know about the whole wizards just spiriting away the hoop thing, right? Do I know about that? Does it mention in the book? No. No. It's like a weird lore drop that happened on Twitter that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. <laughs> no, I don't really know about that. Okay, so basically, before they decided to adopt muggle plumbing, for whatever reason, wizards would shit on the floor and then magic it away. <laughs> that is the canon explanation. And so you can't have... Any piece of media tell a story in the universe before, like, 1820 anymore because of this one very specific thing, right? Because you can't just have 
wizards taking a dump on the floor, magicking away, walking away. They didn't have, like, buckets? <laughs> they didn't use That's them. That's the problem, is they had buckets. They used buckets for lots of stuff. Not pooping, though. No long drop toilets, no buckets, nothing. They would just shit on the floor and freaking disappearing spell it. Where does he go? Like, why? <laughs> it, just he, why? He just goes into oblivion. <laughs> <sighs> Tons of turns fly through space. It's so stupid. And I hate it with every fiber of my being. Uh, like, there was no reason for this. <laughs> you didn't None at say, all. You didn't have to say this. You didn't have to do this. You, everybody could have just been left thinking that they shit in buckets like everybody else. This was a choice. He and it was a bad one. Actively decided to make this. I don't this. know where that is. Oh, that's really funny, though. So, you know. It's funny, though, because it means that, like, wizards... Bef like in the 1800s and earlier, were just so unhinged. They're still unhinged. I mean, they're unhinged. If we're being honest, but they have some sort of like <laughs> assembly now. But before, it just sounds like they just were wacky fucking idiots all the time, yeah. just doing whatever the fuck they felt like. It's so annoying. It makes me so upset talking about the lore of Harry Potter, because like the world is like okay, the the magic system is not handled great, but like it's fine, right? Yeah, you don't have to it's no anymore. Avatar, but, like, it's hard to top Avatar again yeah, you the, don't... in terms of a magic system. And so, like, and you don't have to even come close to it. It just has to make sense. Yeah. And then you get into the lore, and it's like, okay, this world is batshit insane, and there's no reason for it to exist. Yeah. Like, it's all over the place. <sighs> I hate it. Super dumb. And, like, for a long time I loved the series, but now all I feel for it is, like, mild animosity because of the lore. Yeah, because it's like... The lore is handled so poorly by somebody who must be doing so much cocaine. Like... <sighs> must be. There's no alternative. Yeah! None whatsoever. Because... How else do you come up with that shit? You know? Who even knows? This is so silly. But it's like such a useless piece of lore as well, like to just add to the world. I know, it's, it's like, ridiculous. Oh yeah, that they shit and then disappear away. Yeah, like you didn't have to tell us that. That's not a thing that needed to exist. Yeah. You didn't need to confirm that. You didn't make need to make that canon. It's, it could have just it could have just been nothing. Uh, I think another problem with it is the way it was conveyed. Oof. It was done through a tweet. Oh, yeah, that's right, it was, wasn't it? Yup. I'm gonna let these guys fuck him up, because yep. I'm not allowed to punch. Yeah, get his ass. Yeah. Uh. Do you have anything good for me? The other guy had ammo. Do you have a gun? Probably not. No. No. Yeah. God damn it. It's good, it's, it's so good. <sighs> oh, here, actually, I'm gonna come back up real quick. Interesting. Yeah, we're at that time. Yeah. We do, Brady. Again, I just get so mad at the lore of <laughs> Harry Potter. I can tell. Because it's... So unhinged. It's so fucking rowdy. For no reason at all. None at all. <laughs> didn't have Zero. to be like this. It didn't have to be like that. It was written to induce conflict. <laughs> Alright, well, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. Definitely go check out our other content. Until next time, peace out. Bye-bye.